If you're wondering why this boss event lasts for only two days, it is because we have a patch upcoming. And yes, this is going to be the last boss event for this patch. And by the way, we are going to have a very special video coming out tomorrow. So if you guys don't want to miss that one, make sure you know to subscribe, get those notifications on because it's going to be a really cool one. And yeah, but we do have an update for you too coming out. Uh, it's going to be in the next few days. So usually, you know, they have these events ending a little bit earlier before they release the update. So I don't have an exact date to share with you guys, but I know this is just going to be very soon so this shouldn't be that complicated but i wanted to kind of use this video to talk to you guys more about the the upcoming update and uh, you know what's going to be happening in bt6 and, and all of that so you guys might have seen the update preview that ninja Kiri released and if you haven't i'm just going to put it on screen and uh, i want to highlight a couple of things happening so this is going to be kind of a my informal take on the update so uh, you guys might might realize this by now but usually you know the special video means that we got early access so we're going to have an early access video coming out tomorrow and i still haven't hopped onto the new update i'm recording this this is friday and then after i'm done with this recording i'm going to hop onto the onto the update 42 version and see what's new and what's happening so yeah the main feature of the update is going to be the accolades and the player revenue share this is going to be an update that's a little bit on the lighter side at least content wise we're not going to be getting a paragon or a boss but we are going to be getting something very big and that is the ability for players to make money uh, in bt6 now the way that they they thought of this system is that you're going to be able to give accolades to maps and challenges and these maps these accolades are going to be purchasable in the shop with real money and then uh, whenever you see a challenge or a map that you thought it was funny it was it was good looking or it was it was very creative or you know you, you enjoyed playing that thing now uh, you can purchase an accolade and then you can you can give the accolade to the to the specific map and then the revenue is going to go for the creator for that specific map now the revenue share is at 35 percent and i'm going to be honest you are not going to find a lot of you know games and actually i'm not even sure if, if i can name one game or one company which shares 35% of their revenue with people. So I, you know, this is just incredibly generous uh, from Ninja Kiwi. They, they absolutely don't have to be doing this, but they are. And I think it's a way to kind of stimulate people to to participate in BT6, right? To create more maps and then have a way to... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me just get this thing. Uh, are we... Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I bought it in time. But then obviously you guys are going to have to register. So the way that they're doing it is through the Nexus platform, which is a platform that we use as creators uh, when you guys have our creator code. Uh, that is the platform that kind of pays us. It, it goes through them, but it, it kind of goes through Ninja Kiwi. So I, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it correctly, but yeah, that's their partner uh, in doing this. But uh, yeah, that, that's that's the main feature of this update is going to be the fact that Ninja Kiwi is selling revenue shares. Now talking about the content, there is going to be a Geraldo skin, uh, which is the first skin ever for Geraldo. He doesn't have a single skin and it's been he's been out for a very long time. So that's going to be an interesting one. I, I'm pretty sure that the items have been changed as well. So it should be a really cool one. And then I'm also also excited for uh, the quest actually because if you guys read the uh, the patch notes you can see that there is this uh, this quest that's called phase one experiment quest and so uh, they said that that's gonna be similar to the party balloon quest and I just had so much fun playing the party balloon quest I think I made like I kind of maybe like two or three videos for sure on that thing because it was just so fun to play and if this is something even remotely like that then that's gonna be an amazing quest I'm just trying to fit this thing this doesn't go in the range of the village does it no it doesn't okay never mind we're just gonna have it like this and then besides that we're getting some new items and new stuff for the map error which is obviously always very interesting to see what you guys come up with wait a minute this is the tier one I wasn't exactly paying attention okay so the idea is to get the elite defender but now I'm thinking I I did the same mistake for the normal one and I'm doing it now again and that is having my elite defender like here <laughs> which, which means that whenever we trigger the passive ability uh, it's gonna get sucked uh, because Lich is he, he's very close to a chunk basically can we survive this shot no I'm just gonna sell it. let's not risk it like there's no need in risking it so let's just have this guy on first uh, switch him to strong I do want to trigger this passive ability somehow so I'm gonna try and leak these balloons and oh I'm missing something I know I'm missing something I'm missing the mob shelf let's just get it like this yeah, he just keeps regening. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> no, I knew I knew I made a mistake the second I saw it, but I just hadn't realized that. But I think it's gonna it's still gonna be fine, right? I mean, we do have the mob shove. It's he it's healing so much. I mean, something that we have going uh, for us is the fact that the uh, sucking range for the tier one is not that big. So eventually, you know, he's gonna be out of sucking range, and this is gonna go out fine. But let me just let me just move the mob shove like this. Is this fine with the mob shove? We're leaking a decent amount of lives, by the way. I'm really tempted to sell a farm because we need to get our farming going. But I think that once we've held these guys, we should be fine. And let me just make sure all the start is off, so that once this round ends, I guess it's gonna be around 46. So that we we don't lose any time in farming. Yeah, there we go. So that's a tier one, and let's just let's just do our farming setup now. 
Yeah, so I'm just overclocking both of these farms. I got a thick bot. I'm gonna overclock the third one as well, and then we're gonna chill. I'm still keeping the mob shelf, and this is by the way just a zero to zero a wall of fire just to kind of catch these ceramics and leftovers and I'm probably gonna make it into a, a dragon's breath something like a 032 and that's gonna be about it until the second tier of boss arrived okay and the second tier is about to come out I'm gonna sell both of these farms which I bought just for that specific reason actually maybe I should have went for like a 420 but that's completely fine so I just sell these guys now let's get the mat and I also want to get something like a uh, oh you know what maybe we can buy just one more 420 and then I want to buy a boomerang. This is going to be like a 402 boomerang just because we're going to have around a 63 incoming and we're not exactly doing that well in, in just defending, you know, things like round 63. We're going to be amazing versus Moaz, but not versus these things. And wait a minute, what's happening? I should probably unhook these tech bots. Yeah, actually, you know what? let's play it smart. Let's unhook these tech bots. Just stop healing this guy because it's going to take a while if he keeps healing. And he's still he wait a minute, what's healing you now? I so we have a wizard, we have a druid, and we have a dart. None of these guys have like a passive ability or anything like that. We have a monkey opalus and just a bunch of farms over here, and all of the NGs are disconnected. So maybe there was you know what? I'm just willing to let it go, and I'm just willing to say that, that was maybe like a leftover overclock or something like that. So let's just chill for now. Oh, you can also kind of see the HP onto these mods, by the way, them being a little bit beefier. I mean, we're defending them, it's gonna be one more tier, and I feel like if I overclock the man, it's not gonna steal it, right? I, I really want to overclock it because the damage seems to be a little bit lacking this is way too close so let me just make sure the soul is gone yeah there we go and now it is just the let me use the ability yeah it's it's far off yeah yeah it's not stealing the buff there we go i mean <laughs> that was a close that was an unnecessarily close one but you know what we got it done all right so let's fix the farming let's sell both of these guys let's uh you know do the banana central thingy let's overclock now these guys as well hook them up to tech bots and then just keep buying 420 farms and basically everything else that we need and we're gonna spam a bunch of 420 farms until the next boss arrives and this is the tier three so i did the dart paragon thingy so let me just buy right now it's gonna be like with zero dollars invested i bought the small darts as well and it's gonna be a degree 36 which should be uh this is this is going fast enough i mean the dark paragon is dealing with this one for sure right something is something's healing it again what is happening i don't even know what it is i disconnected the ngs i don't think i have any passive abilities or something like that we're gonna have to check it out what it is but i feel like this is i mean the boss is about to go outside of the range but i think we still have it yeah there we go okay that was a little bit closer than i would like to be but yeah that's gonna be the tier three and so uh you know i kind of decided i wanted to get the buccaneer paragon as well i don't usually buy it but there's a lot of free space so i'm just gonna keep buying these boats i'm gonna buy merchants money to favorite trades eventually so that we make a lot of money and then the money uh that they make is counted as pops so it's gonna be a super high degree on the buccaneer paragon and then i don't know i guess i'm gonna see you guys for the tier four and tier four coming out in a second so the novelty for the tier four are gonna be three things i bought the super bill for uh, i guess just a tiny bit amount of smell amplification as well as the uh, not spell but the uh, damage amplification as well as the cripple moab and then we're gonna go for the uh, sub paragon so how much money do we want to put into this thing we have 1.7 milli so let's just do it like this let's just put like a million flat and i want to have it here on the right side that's gonna be a 51 okay that's a super high degree i forgot oh my god this is my third time i forgot to disconnect these guys and i still don't know what's triggering it because it's not the ngs so i don't know maybe you guys can help me <laughs> i'm not seeing it what is healing this guy i have no idea yeah he healed again what is happening i don't know what's happening but you know what we're just gonna take it, it it's fine because we have more than enough damage uh, we have some high degree paragons and then for the last we're just gonna obviously sell everything so there's gonna be nothing left healing it anyways but uh yeah so uh, we're gonna have the buccaneer paragon by the way for the last one so i'm just gonna buy it before the last tier of boss appears and then i don't know maybe like one more thing what is it gonna be maybe like an or something like a boomer paragon or maybe like the ace i still haven't decided but yeah this is gonna be the tier four just wanted to show you guys how i've beaten this and i'm gonna see you guys for tier five okay so here's the plan the tier five is about to come out so i'm just gonna buy this thing outright i'm not gonna put any money into this because we have a bunch of hair trade boats so let's see what degree we're gonna get on the buccaneer paragon first it's gonna be a 57 that's a huge one and we didn't even sac i guess we sacrificed the small boats but we didn't put any money into this thing so that's amazing and uh, i'm gonna spend the remaining uh, cash onto the goliath because uh well this thing the buccaneer paragon is gonna buff the ace paragon with a little bit of extra attack speed and i just wanted to put all the money that i have into this thing because we do have a little bit of damage amplification and i guess we're not gonna need any money uh, it's gonna be a 35 i'm completely fine with that so let's just get this thing going so let me just have the ability like this i think i uh, we should probably keep using the ability right onto this thing because the hp is, is at 135 uh, percent so this comes out to be 
32 million that is a lot of hp onto the ledge you know it's a mess on screen but with the with the synergy i guess between all these guys with the uh, actually you know what i kind of forgot the navark also buffs the sub as well because it's a water tower so yeah that's a little bit of something you know a little bit of synergy that we we should be taking care of but i i completely with that ability but <laughs> i hope no one saw that let's just actually i i don't think anyone saw it because the particles are like 100 percent it's a mess on screen but yeah we're gonna get one more ace ability off i guess before we end this thing off so let's just use it like this let's just prompt the next skull oh it's not even oh it doesn't even do a full skull okay i thought it did a little bit more damage than this oh wait a minute is this getting close to something i don't think it is but let me just have the ability like this and i'm gonna launch the nuke as well but i'm gonna no let's launch it now let's get the countdown going and then hopefully we proc the skull uh, i'm gonna use the ace ability Oh my god, are both abilities gonna whiff? I think they are. Oh my god, that is the saddest ending to the boss fight ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> both the ace ability and the and the nuke ability got launched onto the invulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Lich, uh, it happens, but it's fine. I mean, listen, this guy popped a little bit, you know, a little bit late, and that is due to the extra help that they gave him. But overall, I mean, we won. We got this thing done, and uh, zero zero for Dolphin as the as the Insta Monkey. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a short one, but then again, it was you know kind of more of playing the uh, the last boss event for this patch, and then talking about the new patch. And obviously, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for the early access video.